Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Wake up the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. I am, as per usual, super dark. I don't know what else to do with the lighting on this room. I think, I don't know. I have a ring light and I still look super dark. Anyway, welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura. My name is Laura Gonzalez and I welcome you today, Monday, October 24th. This is Halloween. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. This is basically Halloween week, weekend. We're going to have the Halloween, Samhain, Galengaif, or whatever you celebrate, Dia de Muertos. Um, not the same. Hi, Julie, Blair, and Yvonne. Uh, clarifying that the other Muertos is not Mexican Halloween, don't believe the hype, but it is indeed a celebration for the dearly departed harvest time, end of the rainy season, etc. in Mexico. And anyway, we have tarot for the week, and guess what? I'm going to be using the Hocus Pocus tarot. I did the uh, unboxing on Friday. Did I do it on Friday? I think I did do it on Friday. And um, I have to add, I did not shuffle the cards that day for the unboxing. And now that I'm shuffling them, they're a little hard to shuffle. Can you hear that? The cards are a little too thick. But, nonetheless, they are the awesome cards from Hocus Pocus. And let's see what the message is for this week. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Anea. And hi to Hana na 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 Hana na 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 So... We have, thank you, goddess. We have, first of all, the eight of potions. The eight of potions, it is uh, Mary. Mary with a whole lot of potions here. The eight of potions that represents the eight of cups, the eight of cups that is telling us it is okay to go deep into our emotional realm and it is okay to walk away from certain things that might cause pain or sorrow. And it's okay to be aware, but not necessarily be proactive or actively working on set emotions. If you will, you know, one thing is to be aware of things and another thing is to act in what you have, um, discover about your emotional self and even though those are two different things it could be a little hard sometimes you know to get in our feelings to get emotional but uh that doesn't mean you have to act on them and you can just recognize the feelings and the emotions and be aware of them without having to go make very deep changes if you will. I do you ever happen to look at something and want to zoom in? Like if you were looking at something on your phone. That just happened to me with this card. I I'm looking at the card and I don't see who the person is. And I was gonna I was trying to zoom into the card. So I think is the little girl from Hocus Pocus with uh, with the cat. And um, anyway, the card is the Wheel of Fortune. And thank you, Goddess Fortuna. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making yourself present twice 
first, I think, didn't the Wheel of Fortune came out on Friday? Or something like that. I don't know, but I remember that we were talking about Good Fortune on Friday. And today we have the actual Wheel of Fortune card visiting us on our reading for the week. And I think it's um, very important that we focus on the good fortune and the good things that are happening around us. And to know that if you believe or not on Goddess Fortuna, I do, for I am a devotee of her work. I'm a devotee of the Goddess Fortuna. Uh, every time I see the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's kind of like a wing from her that says, I'm here, I got you, and everything is going to be okay. And in the general sense of the reading, having the Wheel of Fortune is giving us the go-ahead. It's telling us it's going to be okay. It's telling us that good fortune is coming into the horizon and that good things will come ahead. Um, also kind of having the Midas touch, kind of like whatever you do will be positive or will be bringing life, light into um, where you at. Uh, Rash, I can, if you want to do a specific question, you can book me for a session and my information for booking is on my link tree on the Instagrams and it is also on my first comment here on Facebook. I am so happy Shirley Ann. She said they got um, a job offer. I am very happy for you. I know you were thinking about that. And to everybody, you know, if you ever want a private session where you have specific questions, like in this case, Burma says they have a question for a specific situation, you can always book me for an online reading. Um, they start at 30 minutes for $60 or one hour for $120. I'm still on a very low side of um, cost for a private session. I know people who are charging three or four times more. So anyway, we have Rebellion. I did pull an Oracle card for us from the Lev Empire. I've been watching um, interview with the vampires. So of course I'm all about the vampires. Hashtag half witch, half vampire. So Rebellion is the card. Ooh. We kind of look alike. And what does she say? She said 33. Upstar tumult revolution. It is time to be truthful about who you are and what is your wish to create in your life. You can do this. There will be more support than you can dream off when you open up and share what you felt you must keep secret they are more like you than you know you are being called to follow your own soul's path it is wonderful thing it is a wonderful thing when you truly become yourself and find what you love we look alike because <laughs> i'm a rebellious spirit just like this one so Hi, Massey Dots. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Okay. It is time to be truthful about who you are and what it is you wish to create in your life. You can do this. There will be more support than you can dream of when you open up and share what you felt you most kept secret. They are more like you than you know. You are being called to follow your own soul's path. It is a wonderful thing when you truly become yourself and find what you love all right folks those are the messages for this week i only have left to invite you to the uh, winer's beer halloweiner the halloweiner party that will happen on the 28th friday the 28th and you can find about that on my events section 
uh, here on Facebook or on the link tree on the Instagrams. And um, I will see you Wednesday with oracles. And until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.